Hello, and welcome to the second recording for the NLNG graduate training aptitude test. Okay, so this is the second one. If you've not seen the first, you can quickly check on the playlist for NLNG aptitude test. You're going to find it and you study it, and of course, you'll be better. So, guys, because of the messages I'm getting on my DM, I have I want to now officially tell you that we've decided to open a closed WhatsApp group. Okay. Um what is going to be happening in the closed WhatsApp group is very simple. In the closed WhatsApp group, you have the, the um, access to ask me questions directly, and you kind of also learn from other people's questions on the chat as well. And again, on the closed WhatsApp group, you meet with other people who are preparing for the same exam that you are preparing for. And you can be lucky. Somebody might go take the exam before you share their experience and you get much better, right, before your own test day. And also on the closed WhatsApp group, we might decide to do some online classes. So the closed, the WhatsApp group is not compulsory. You just, if you want to join the WhatsApp group, you just make a payment of 2,000 Naira uh, and I'll be added, you'll be added to the closed WhatsApp group. So just 2,000 Naira, you'll be added to the WhatsApp group. But of course, if you can pay more than that, why not? Why not? Just do that, and that's another way to appreciate us. So once you make the payment to this account number on the screen, you just kindly send your um the uh what do they call it the payment slip to this number zero nine one um this number you see on the screen. Just send your the payment slip to this WhatsApp number, and um, you'll be added to the WhatsApp group. Okay, it's not compulsory, guys. It's not compulsory. Just for those of us who have who need more time for practice and who need more of my attention. So that is why we are opening the closed WhatsApp group for you. So, but then if you don't have the money to pay, of course, we are going to still be uploading with videos here for you. Okay, so it's not compulsory. But if you do have the money, why not? And if you can pay more, why not? So, guys, that is just a quick update for us. Um Make the payment as quick as you can before your test day so that you do more practice with me. So, guys, let's get to work. If you observe, we're using a different material today, right? This is much more recent than the one we're using before. So, but then if you want me to use the old one, no problem. I'll do that for you. So, let's start with question one. I hope you have your writing materials. Let's get to work. So, this will be our very first question today, question one. Before I start reading what we have here, I'd like to quickly look at the chart. If you look at the chart, this chart is telling us about the household spending in euros. And look at the spending we did for different years. So, for year one, these are, what, these are the expenditures we had for year one, year two, and so on. So, if you look at it now, for food, for instance, for year one, how much do we spend for food? We spent 4,500 euros for year one. For year two, we spent 4,480 euros on year two. So that is how to understand the chart. If you're able to understand the chart, the problem will not be a problem. That is why I'm trying to make you understand what the chart is all about. So for clothes and shoes, for year four, we spent 1,870 euros. So you know what the chart is all about. Then why can't we solve the problem? Let's go to the problem real quick. So the question is saying, in year three, so you know our interest is in this year now, year three. It says, uh, how much more was spent on household and home than on hygiene than on hygiene and health? So we want to know how much money we spent on household, I mean, on house and home than on hygiene and health. So how much do we spend on house and home? For year three, you know, our interest is year three. We spent 10,500. How much did you spend on hygiene and health on year three? We spent 2,200. Okay, it's very clear that we spent more on house and home. It's very clear. So how much more did we spend? That is the question. Just quickly do the subtraction. And you know how much more you spend on house and home? Subtraction. So I will just do 10,500 minus 2,220, right? Subtract. You can use a calculator. I brought one from here, is, is 10, is 8, is 2, is 8. So I spent 8,280 euros more on household, on house and home. I don't know why I'm even saying household. On house and home than on hygiene and health. So the answer is just 8,200. Is it clear? Uh, I'd like to see your comment. If question one is clear, tell me question one is clear. If question two is not clear, tell me question two is not clear. Because I'm going through all your charts and you can see I'm responding to your chart. 
at this particular time being? I'm responding to your chat. So if this one is clear, tell me question one is clear. There is when I'm going to the chat, I'll just know question one is clear. So let's go to question two. Question two, we're solving five questions from this material. Then another time we solve another five like that. We're doing it like that uh, and see how many we can solve before your test day. This is question two. The same chart problem, right? You see the same chart, so I don't need to explain the chart again. So let's go to the problem. Question two is saying, if the amount spent on, on food in year five, you know we don't have year five. So they're kind of telling us that if we have a year five, what will happen? Now look, look at the question. If the amount spent on food in year five was 20% lower than what was spent in year four. So then how much do we spend in year five on food? I don't know if you understand the question. So go to the food on year four. On year four, we spent 4,900. So they're trying to tell us that that amount you spend on food on year four, if you take away 20% from it, you have the amount you spent on food for year five. Because they said, if the amount spent on food in year five was 20% lower. So if I take away 20% from this amount I spent on year four, I should be able to tell you what I spent on year five. So let me go do that. So if I take 20%, uh, which is 20 over 100, 20% of this guy, uh, where is the guy? 4,900, 20% um, like 0 0.2, right? Times 4,900. Um, 0 0.2 times 4,900. Um, that will give me how much? 980, 4,900, 980. So what do I do? I have to remove, 90 is not the answer, please. I have to remove 980 from this guy because that is 20%. So if I move uh, 980 from 4,900, let me remove it real quick, um, 4,900. So I'm going to get 3,920. That is how much I spent on food for year five. I spent 3,920, and that's the answer, B. Do you understand what we just did? We just, you know, they said 20% lower. So we move 20%, that is 980. So we'll take it away from here, and we know how much we spent on food for year five. So if it was 20% more, what would you do? Will you subtract? No, you're going to add. Okay? If they had said 20 was 20% 20 more, so all you need to do is to add. So I hope you're all getting this stuff. I know some of us who are very good with math. You know, if you're taking 20% away, you want to do 80% of this, get your answer straight up, and you do 80%, you get your answer. So, like I said, I know most of us here are really, really very good with math, so I'm trying to be very basic as possible. So, guys, let's go to the next question. Again, like I said, if question two is clear, please let me know in the comment section. And um, thank you all for sharing this video to other people. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. So this is um, question three. We're going to do five questions in this video. And like that, we'll keep solving questions till your test day. So this is question three. So I'm going to cancel out this stuff just for clarity. This is question three, okay? Now, if you look at question three, we have a different chart here, a different chart entirely. Now, let me quickly look at the chart and explain the chart for you so that you, we can now solve the problem. If you look at the chart, this tells, this is the title of the chart, Summer Olympics, um, Summer Olympics medal table by nation. Okay, so these are the nations we have. The horizontal as is telling us the nations we have, Australia, like that, Germany, France, Italy. And the vertical as is here is telling us the numbers of medals won. Okay, right, the numbers of medals won. So for, if I want to analyze the chart, now for Great Britain, you can see that they won how many, uh, this is the key, all of these things here are the key to the chart. The um, circle stuff here with the yellow color is gold. This one is silver. This one is bronze. So if you look at the Great Britain, how many gold did they uh, win? They won a total of 19 golds. How many um, silver? They won a total of 13 silver. How many bronze? 15 bronze. So you see the chart, you understand the chart. Then you can solve the problem. So now let's go ahead and solve this particular problem for question three. So it says, what proportion of the medals won by France. So we're talking about France now. Look at the medals won by France. Look at the medals won by France. So these are our interests. That's why I have to circle. These are our interests. So don't look anywhere other. Don't look any other place. This is where you should be looking at right now. Because they're talking, they're talking about the proportion of the medals won by only France. So what proportion of the medals won by France are silver? So how many silver did France um, win? How many silver? Um, 16 silver, right? So they won 16. 
out of how many medals do they win? How many of them? Because we're interested in the one that is silver against the total uh, medals. So how many medals do they win altogether? 17 plus 16 plus 7. 17 plus 16 plus 7, right? That is how many they won altogether. So that's going to give us um, 7 plus 7 is, is uh, 14. 14 plus, uh, plus 6 is uh, how many? 20, right? So that's 40. So altogether, they have 40 medals. They won 40 medals all together. So the one that is that is um, silver is 16. I kind of want to explain this stuff again. Now, altogether, France won a total of 40 medals, right? But which one is silver? 16 is silver. So it's like 16 out of the 40 they won. That's the proportion, 16 out of the 40. Okay? But then, if you look at the answers given to us here, the answer seems to be in percentage. So that means you want to convert this guy to percent. How do you convert the number to percent? Multiply the number by 100%. Chicken, huh? that's how to convert the number to percent, uh, percent. So when you do that, you just uh, quickly, um, you just like 16 divided by 40, uh, which is 0 0.4 times 100 times 100, which is 40. So this is just 40%. And that answer is going to be option C. So like I said, I'm not kind of rushing this stuff. I'm trying to make you understand it so that if you see questions in this category or in this context, you should be able to solve them. Okay, that's what we are doing here. So I'm not trying to be very fast. If, if I'm doing this stuff very fast, of course, many of us might not get it. Okay, that's why I'm trying to be slow. So don't mind my explanation. And if you're enjoying the explanation, please let me know in the comment section. So that answer is this guy. So let's go to the next question. That is question four. Um, question four. Let's see what question four have for us. Uh, question four is having a different chart again. Okay, so no problem. Let's just um, explain the chart and we'll solve the problem. Now look at the chart. This chart is telling us, the, the title of the chart is uh, World Population by Age and Gender. World Population by Age and Gender. Okay, so this is the age group and this is the gender, males and females. So we don't have all those um, stuff they used to talk about today, the transgender, we don't have them here. The, the gender I know is the males and the females. Fine. So um, this is the world population by age and gender, right? In millions. So this is the age group. Uh, people are under 20. They are 1,253 males and 1,175 females. These are the world population, take note. Uh, people who are between the age of 20 and 29, this is their age. I mean, this is their number. We have uh, the male are 574, the female are 552. People who are between the age, people, are, people who are the age from 30 to 39, these are their numbers in males, these are their numbers in females. Are you getting the stuff? So now we understand the chart. People who are 90 and older, they are three. Ah, they are nine. They are very small. Yes, we know that for sure that most old people are, we have few old people or fewer old people, you understand, that are 90 and above, right? So now let's go to the problem. Um, I get so excited when I see this stuff. I don't know why. So let's go to the problem. It says, how many more females? We've seen a problem like this before, right? How many more females than males? are there in the age category of 60 to 69. So let's go to 60 to 69. I like to put this point. This is my point of interest. So we want to know how many more females are here than males. Of course, it's very true that we have more females. We have 208 females and we have 192 males. So we have more females than males. So how many more do we have? That is the question. How many more do we have? What do you do? You subtract. So we just do 208 minus 192. Right? So you take one from here. This is six, uh, 20 minus 19 is one. So 16. So we have 16 million. Why do you have million here? Because all of these things are in millions, right? So if you do anything here, it's in million. So we have 16 million. Straight up, straight up. Let's go to the next question. This one is very, very easy, right? Uh, this is question four. I think I didn't note that. So we are going to the last question for today. Question five. Yeah, question five. So this is question five. Let me see question six. Okay, question six is a different chart. So let's stop at question five. Um, if question six was the same, I would have do question six. So let's do question five real quick. So this is our question five for today. Take note. 
It says, uh, we know what the chart is talking about, right? So let's go to the problem real quick. It says, how many males are there? Uh, so how many males are there, are there, are there aged over 70? This English is somehow to me. How many age are there? How many males are, are, there, are there aged over 70? Oh, I just understand that we're looking for the males that are over 70. That's what I understand. We're looking for the number of males that are over that are aged over 70. So let's go to the chart. Now look at the chart here. We come to this place. Look at the people that are aged over 70 here. Look at people that are aged over 70 here. These are it. But we're looking at the males, right? So how many males? Oh, now listen, listen. You see, I almost missed this question. I'll tell you the, I'll tell you the funny thing about this question. We're looking at people who are aged over 70. So we are looking at this category, this category, and this category, because these are people that are aged over 70, not just that 70 you're talking about. So people who are aged, people who are 90 are aged over 70, people who are 100 are aged over people who are 80 are aged over 70. So this is the category we are looking at. This category, this category, and this category. So that is what we are looking at. People who are aged over 70. So and we are interested in who? The males. We're interested in the males. So I, I will still bottle up this stuff to this point. So how, if you add up all these guys, 107 plus 33 plus 3, how many would that give us? This will give us 10, 13, uh, remember 1, this will give us 4, and this will give us 1. That is 1 for 3 million. So I told you everything you do here is a million. So the answer is going to be 1 for 3 million. Now let me tell you the, the part that these people did not, the question is not absolutely correct. Let me tell you why. But this is the answer for this question. This is the answer. But let me tell you why it's not absolutely correct. They're looking at people who are aged over 70. If you look at this chart, look at this chart here. This chart is telling you people who are aged from 70 to 90, to, nine, to 79, I mean. So in other words, in this category, we, cannot, we, can, we can find somebody that is aging 70 here. Okay? But if here was like 71 to 79, yes, that would have been the perfect answer or perfect way they put in this distribution so any of you know how to get um to nlng tell them that this question here is not exactly how they ex how they wanted it it should be in this kind of um patterns okay or they can even say people who are aged from 70 not over over 70 means you're looking at 70 ones you understand but then let's just assume we know what they're trying to talk about. So the answer is going to be 143. So guys, we've come to the end of for today's class. Uh, today is Sunday, and I'm about going to church right now. So I just quickly want to do this video for all of us. So thank you very much for watching to this very point in time. Thank you for sharing this video. And like I said, if you're joining the group, it's just a sum of 2,000, but if you can pay more, why not? Why not? That's another way to appreciate us for what we are doing. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you guys all the best as you prepare for the test and I'll see you in another video. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.